Hello, we are Sorted Food and this is our fridge cam. Tonight, well, I don't really know what happens, but apparently this happens. Um, obviously there was my penis wherever that went. <coughs> it's another mystery night. So far, Barry's brought us skiing and food, Jamie dance and food. It's Mike's turn. Oh no. So today is the day of my mystery night out. I have some amazing plans. Um, my theme is cultural refinement. So we're going for afternoon tea. It's a gentleman's afternoon tea. And then I'm gonna take the guys to a nude life drawing class. Anyone wanna hazard a guess as to where we're going? Trampolini. Maybe we're all getting haircuts together. Knowing you, it might involve crustless sandwiches. Afternoon tea has gotta be high up the list. Yeah. That's, that's, that's your love. Mm. And you have brought us out mid-afternoon. No. Thanks, Jay. Okay, so yes, you guessed it. And yes, I'm predictable. We're going for afternoon tea. We're in Marlebone, Marlebone, Marlebone. The Mandeville Hotel. They have a, an adjoining restaurant called the Reform Bar and Grill, where we're going to enjoy a gentleman's afternoon tea. Oh, you know what this means? Is that out of the three of us who have done a mystery night so far, we've all chosen food to share. This particular afternoon tea, bottomless Prosecco. Whoa. <laughs> I've, had a, I've had a few afternoon teas in my time. I'm intrigued. Cheers. 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 Just in the process of ordering our tea from our tea menu, so we've got the bubbles. Uh, and now we have 10 different loose leaf teas to choose from. Don't drink all that tea at once, you might bomb. <laughs> <laughs> then the next activity is more before it's like it's refined. Refined. Not We're near the palace. Yeah. We're quite near Hyde Park. Yeah. Should I have brought a change of clothes? Yeah, probably actually. Spare pair of underwear? Yeah, definitely. Are we gonna be in the Lion King? For our gentleman's afternoon tea, a Welsh rabbit finger, mini smoked salmon bakery, roast beef and Yorkshire pudding, and crispy haddock fish finger with tartar sauce. Plain and raisin skins, served with clotted cream and strawberry jam, sacker cake, a rhubarb and custard macaron, an apple tart, chocolate and coffee tart, a Victoria sponge cake, raspberry, no, it's a strawberry there, Barry, a <laughs> strawberry fraser. These fruit blind. <laughs> Also, if we're doing refinement, let's do a linen napkin. Oh mate, look, already already got it. Oh, that looks dodgy. Oh dear. Always one of them. Now it's just turned into a tea at granddad's. <laughs> Welsh red. <clears throat> oh. There's a whole fish in there. Oh, that's banging. Good. That's so good. Can I ask you? Yes. What's your obsession with afternoon teas? I just really like it because I'm a bit of a scumbag and a riffraff and this is the one time that I get to pretend to be cultured. The Reform Bar and Grill are celebrating the Yorkshire pudding this month and they have eight different varieties of Yorkshire puddings with different fillings so they've very kindly given us a selection of those Yorkshire puddings. This cheesy Yorkshire. Mm. How do you make Yorkshire puddings better? Put cheese in it? Salt beef Yorkshire pudding. All in. Oh, did you do all in? Oh! Ebbers is obsessed with how smooth that. Oh, it's pretty smooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! He's done it wrong already. Nope. Light. Fluffy, buttery, and damn good jam. I'm going cake. I'm going Victoria sponge. Oh, cheers. <laughs> What's in it? It's got jam in it. What is that? It's chocolate with jam. It's like apricot. That is so sweet. That is amazing. That's made my tooth hurt. <laughs> and it's chocolate. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, guys, I'd heavily recommend that you drink more. 
Why? Because you're going to need it. We need Dutch courage for this next thing. Are we going to the Ray and Nephew Rum Distillery? <laughs> is that what the activity is? <laughs> yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> Just between me and you. Yeah. It's going high or? Uh, yeah, I'd say it's, I'd say it's pretty, good. pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. I wouldn't want to tell him that though. Well, that was very civilised. I hope the rest of the evening continues in the same oh, vein. Absolutely, it's so cultured, Evers. You're going to love it. No one's even come close to guessing what we're doing next. But you know, don't you? Why? Helicopter. So like, where the hell are they? An art centre. Oh, Is it, are, we, are we live? What's it called? What's it modeled? Coming boys, it's about to get weird. What are you doing? I think we're about to draw. Oh. Mike, what's happening? Mike? Mike, I'm scared. We, I'm genuinely nervous. Guys, this is art. This is about to get weird. We'd like you to judge our drawings at the very end. For sure. And um, the loser could be your next model. <laughs> when we're looking for artistic oh, moustaches. Why are you holding my chin like this? It's, oh, it's... it's a weird bit. I'm like, why are you supporting me? <laughs> That. Okay, what, what's the name of this exercise, Baz? Uh, <laughs> pin the whaley on the model. Mike has just drawn a life-size drawing of our model, uh, and uh, the three of us have drawn a life-size willy of our model. Uh, and now Mike's going to... That's life-size! Mate, you weren't here. <laughs> and now Mike's got to spin us round, and we're going to have to pin our drawings on the drawing, not on the real. Do you feel that, Prosecco? Yep. <laughs> okay, okay. Yep. and... Oh, I can't eat. Go, go. Jamie, as usual, yours is the wedding wedding. Yeah. <laughs> For this exercise, we've had to do our own caricatures. <laughs> and I finished with this, which somehow won. That right there, Michael, is art. Art. <laughs> that was better than art classes at school. <laughs> <laughs> That was, an, I, that was an experience. It's it, the sort of thing you would never book yourself on to do, would no, you? But no. if someone else does it, you go, well... I'm not here now. now. No. And you, what you've done is gone from completely predictable to completely unpredictable for you. Yeah. Which is amazing. Drawing knobs. <laughs> I like the fact that I can't draw, and by the end of it, neither can Jamie, right. and by the end of it, we were excelling. Jamie, you got the Prosecco and the Rosette, but I got the luxury of organising the next one. I don't even know where to begin trying to rate Mike for this night. There's no doubt it was well organised. Gentlemen's afternoon tea. Slightly predictable for Mike, he loves an afternoon tea. The food was great. We got bottomless Prosecco. That set the night up to, you're on a 10, you're on a 10. Now I would never have ever, ever, ever considered spending my own money on a life drawing class. But it was fantastic. You kind of go, I'm here. I have to commit and I learn a bit. I won't put it above my bed, but it is something that I'm proud of and I think I would do life drawing again. Definitely value for money. He said it was all about gentleman and refinement and I think it absolutely delivered to that. So where do I rate him? 8.1. 8.5. An 8.7. That too generous? No, that's about right. Great night, yep. awesome food, yep. and even better for the fact that I did the best sketching. Yeah, and make sure you like this video and share with everybody if you two are a fan of well, oh. art. I can't believe you won. Well, I do, which that means I get to organise the final mystery night. At the moment, Mike is winning. Can I beat him? You'll have to stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs>